Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be taking a look and reviewing Apple Remote Desktop. Uh, now this program costs, I believe, $30 in the App Store, uh, and it still gets updated. Um, I know it's a pretty old application, uh, it came out a long time ago, but uh, they still update it and uh, it works really well. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I have it right here, we'll just go ahead and open it up. They changed the icon a bit in the uh, newest update. So. Uh, pretty simple layout here so on the left side we have all of the, the different ways that we can um, discover our computers or save our computers that we have on our network so right here we have all computers for me um, of course this only works with Mac uh, you can get it to work with Windows but uh, I think it's a little tricky anyways uh, here at my two Macs uh, of course this is the one that I'm using but this is the one that we'll be connecting to in just a second so on the scanner, it'll go ahead and scan your network. Um, all of the different devices will come up. It won't name them probably, uh, unless it's um, some kind of Apple device. It might come up with a name, but um, typically if it's a Mac, it'll come up with a name and that's just about it. Uh, you can have it scan different, um, different types of network connections like Bonjour, local network. Uh, you can specify a network range or a network address things like that um, so yeah there's that nothing too special right there task server if you have one of those you can connect to that uh, I don't have one so we'll move on active tasks uh, you can set tasks or um, schedule uh, some kind of task for Apple remote desktop to execute on a different machine um, pretty cool and history of those tasks uh, we'll get to those in just a minute so we're going to go to all computers uh, we have different options for controlling the computer so we can observe it, which is basically just looking at the screen. Oh, well, here's my iMac, observe. Um, so moving the cursor around is not going to do anything. They won't know that you're observing at all. Close that. Control, um, well, you can control it. You want to open that up. Pretty simple close that and then curtain um, basically you can lock the screen on the computer and then you can use the computer like in the background so they won't know that or like what you're doing um, they'll just see a lock on their screen with a message if you want um, so copy uh, basically just copying files um, between computers install you can install different packages uh, like if there's an application that you download on one computer and you want it on the other computer but you don't want to have to re-download it and everything on that computer just drag and drop it into the packages uh, press install and then it'll remotely install it on that computer which is pretty cool uh, I've used it a couple times and it works really well um, Unix if you know Unix commands you can do that reports you can generate reports based on bunch of different things really um, from the storage to the the network connections to what devices are connected uh, things like that really detailed reports it's really nice and spotlight search you can search that computer all right so let's go ahead and move up here because we have even more options so file uh, we can have a new list kind of like a playlist different computers like if you want um, like a section for work computers and a section for home computers, you can do that. Um, same with scanners and smart list and groups, things like that. Nothing too special um, from then on. So report, uh, we can do a bunch of different reports. Uh, same as when we just clicked reports over here. Um, just gives you a little option or a, a menu bar up there. Manage, uh, we can do a lot of different things from right here. We can copy files install packages and Unix commands. Uh, we went over that. You can also open applications, open different files, you can empty the trash, you can change the startup disks, uh, you can rename the computers, uh, you can sleep, wake, restart, shut down, power on, log out current user. Um, of course power on and I believe wake uh, is only available if you have if that computer is connected via Ethernet. Upgrade client software so if the Apple remote desktop version is out of date on a particular computer you can update that and you can go and change the settings of that uh, computer uh, we're not going to do that though it's 
it's really nothing too special. So now interact, uh, we can control, observe, curtain, uh, share screen, so basically they can control our screen. Uh, and then we can also control theirs. We can send them a message, we can chat with them. Uh, just a standard chat window. Nothing too exciting. We can lock the screen and unlock the screen. Um, yeah, so you can lock it with your own password. Um, and then you can unlock it. And then task, uh, you can manage all the tasks that you've ran. Alright, so let's go ahead and run a task here. Let's go ahead and um, we'll do alright, we'll do manage, we'll do empty trash. Um, so there's a file in the trash. Emptying trash, succeeded on all. The file's gone. Um, and it's now in the history. Uh, that's basically it. Nothing too special there. So let's go ahead and control the computer, which is really the main point of this program. Oh, selected wrong computer again. Alright, so here it is. Um, yes, I have the same background and everything on this computer. It's basically the uh, same computer. Um, really smooth. Probably one of the smoothest remote desktop programs I've ever used, to be honest. Uh, you can easily watch videos on here, listen to music, things like that. If I were to guess, the frame rate probably 20 frames per second, maybe, uh, on a good connection. Of course, all the different keyboard shortcuts work, so if we go ahead and open up a finder window, we can do Command W to close that window. Everything works. Uh, hold down the option key. Um, turn on and off, do not disturb, things like that. It all works. Now let's say we go ahead and go into the finder and you want to choose a desktop uh, a pro, um, file, that's what I wanted to say here. Um, and we can go and drag and drop it and we can drag and drop it right onto our own desktop. And there it is. So we'll go ahead and close this. Go and Close that, and there's the file. Um, file transfer rates, of course, just depending on your network speed. So we'll go back to control. Connects really quickly. Um, runs really smoothly. There's really no complaints that I have uh, with this program. It's, it's really smooth, really nice to use. And it works really easily with all Macs. I mean, you don't have to install any kind of software on it. You don't have to configure any IP addresses. Um, it'll scan for the computer. You can go ahead and drag and drop it into all computers, and then you're pretty much done. You can go and connect to it, log in with that username and password, and that's basically it. So let's go ahead and take a look at kind of the settings um, or the info that we can check out here. So uh, right-clicking, getting info, you can look at the attributes, basically just the networks, all that stuff. Um, reporting, if we have automatic reporting on, we can go ahead and do that, uh, which will generate a report whenever you want. So administrators, um, basically who can control this computer with all the administrator powers. And then control and observe settings, but basically just connection settings, nothing too special. We can go ahead and edit these if we want. That's basically it. Um, really cool. I I wish I had another computer to show you, but uh, if we had multiple computers, we could go and select um, all of them or just a few, uh, and then we can go ahead and observe them or uh, just control um, control all of them, kind of like in a in a grid view. It's really cool.